Okay, now we're ready to machine our gasket with the uh, PCNC 1100 and the drag knife cutter. We're going to be cutting it out of material like this. This is gasket material. It's uh, 45 thousandths thick. We're holding the uh, gasket material down with some paper tape that we have here. And I'm going to be turning the spindle lockout key to off because we do not want the spindle to rotate um, when we're using the drag knife cutter. And this is our flash drive with our sprue cam program we programmed earlier. So I'm going to put this into the machine. And I'm going to bring it up into Mach 3. So I'm going to click Open G Code, Gasket 4, and you can see the outline, the design there that is essentially the gasket. And there's one thing I have to do to, to this uh, G Code program, and that is I have to put a special code in it in order to make it go up and get out of the way so that once we cut the center out of this and we go to cut the, the outer perimeter that there's something inside here to hold the outer perimeter otherwise it'll move around so as you can see um, I have it taped to a board and so that outer perimeter will get cut and then there will be nothing holding it. So we want to um, stop, get the cutter out of the way so that it's safe, put a piece of tape down, and then restart the program. Alright, so I'm going to change the G-code. So I, I clicked on the button, change G-code, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here, which is where that uh, outer perimeter starts. I'm going to find the start of it, which should be right about here. And where it says Z.15 at the end of the other contour, I'm going to change that to Z6 so that the uh, drag knife cutter moves up 6 inches. And now I'm going to add a line that is M1. And M1 is an optional stop, so the cutter will stay um, in that position until I hit cycle start. Then it will come back down and cut the outer perimeter. So I'm going to save that and close it. Now we're ready to go ahead and cut. Okay, we're ready to start. This is, uh, we're going to cut out the gasket with the drag knife cutter and a 60 degree blade. Now we're going to put some tape so that the center gets held down while it cuts around the outside. Alright, that should hold it. Okay, let's see what we got. Here's our part, there's our gasket. 